Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, encouraging you to run with endurance in the race that God has set before you. It's Thursday, August the 4th. How do you know that, you're, that your life is actually making a difference from day to day? It's easy to get to the place where you begin to think that your faith is not really having an impact on anybody around you. So I just wanted to remind you of a, a verse uh, that I've recently been thinking a little bit more about. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. It says, For we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We are His workmanship. So how does, how does God do that? How does He create this workmanship that we call our lives? Well, there's a couple things that go into that. There is, uh, first of all, uh, spiritual gifts that He gives us. So the question we ought to be asking is, what gifts do I have? If you are a believer in Jesus, when you came to faith, He gave you this inner compulsion to do something to serve with some uh, gift to build others up in their faith. So what spiritual gift do I have? Here's another question that you could ask. What do I love to do? And that's really about your heart. Some people have this idea that if I choose to commit my life to Christ and follow Him, He's going to ask me to do something that I hate. And that's just a, a faulty view of God. And, quite frankly, of His work in our lives. But what do you love to do? It's a great question to ask. Here's a third one. What natural abilities and skills do I have? What is it that God has given to me really as a result of my uh, DNA, my parentage? I had to dodge the water here this morning. So now we're talking about abilities. What abilities has God given you? Next question, what is my personality, uh, where does it best suit me to serve? Some people, are, uh, their personality is best suited for them to serve in a really up front, out front, on stage kind of uh, ministry. Others, much more behind the scenes, much more you don't need that a lot of that uh, public attention. So where, where does your personality best suit you to serve? And then finally, what experiences have you had? You know, God never wastes an experience, ever. And so all the experiences that He has given you go into making you designing you to make a difference, to make an impact in people's lives. So here's the question of the day for us. What has God made me to do for Him? How has He shaped my life to really make a difference in the lives of others? All right, it's a beautiful morning. Let me show you what we're talking about here. There it is. That's great. All right, let me pray for us today. 
Father, as we get ready to start out on this new day, we thank you for the opportunities that you have before us, for the good works that you have prepared in advance for us to be a part of. Uh, we we want to make a difference. We want to be a blessing. We want to help others. So help us to take everything that you have built into our lives and, and use that for your glory and for the good of others. Uh, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Gwen and I are going to be uh, away for a couple of days. We're going to go uh, celebrate our 40th uh, anniversary. And so uh, I have a dear friend, Dr. Chris Griggs, who will be uh, sharing God's Word uh, this coming Sunday. He's a, he's a gifted preacher and uh, just a godly man. I know you'll be encouraged and challenged uh, both uh, by him. We've got some really exciting news uh, that I'm looking forward to sharing with you in the days ahead about what God's doing in and through our church. Uh, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to share that with you soon. In the meantime, let me just say thank you so much for being united in the passionate pursuit of the next generation. I'll see you next week.